There's a lot of double standards, in my opinion, that go on in professional sports when it comes to lower-ranked players getting kicked out of the game and uh, the organization, if you will, turning a blind eye to top-ranked players who bring in a lot of money for the sport. And I do feel that this is at the center of today's video. But we're going to go ahead first. We're going to back up to when this story came out. And that was in August. It was right before the start of the U.S. Open. I remember watching an interview between Chris McKendry and Darren Cahill, Yannick Sinner's coach. And Darren said in the video that uh, back during Indian Wells in March, uh, Sinner, his trainer, and his physio were all in a room together. And the physio had reached into his medicine bag and he cut his pinky finger on a scalpel that was in the medicine bag, which was used, of course, for removing blisters off of an athlete's foot. So Sinner at the time wasn't aware of this, neither was the trainer. Darren Cahill walks into the room and he notices that the uh, physio was wrapping his finger and he said, hey, do you need any help with anything? You okay? Uh, do we have to do anything to make sure you're good to go here? And he said, nope, I'm just bandaging my finger, I'm all set. And uh, they proceeded again as normal. Darren said he forgot about it and uh, until it was brought up later on. And then later that night, the physio met with Yannick Sinner, who, of course, being the very, very concerned person he is, said, uh, did you put anything on that cut that might get me in trouble? <laughs> or second most, heavily promoted young player on the tour right now, being just 23 years old, having years and years and years in front of him where he's going to be a force to be reckoned with and a, a draw for the game and someone that's going to sell a lot of merchandise, um, put a lot of uh, people in seats to watch him. It's going to create a lot of excitement and buzz for the game. All this promise. Do I think that the treatment for Sinner would be radically different than it would be for a player ranked 200 in the world? Well, of course, <laughs> guys. There is no way around that. I mean, the ITIA's decision to pardon Sinner here has gone about as well as Yerzy Yanowitz's singing career. Oh! 